What's up, YouTube? Now, when you're dealing with the carnal ministry and you're there and you have no choice, and uh, once Scott starts, if Scott starts talking to you, expect persecution, opposition. It just goes with the territory. High priest did that to Jesus, and he was the um, he was the King Saul, and Jesus was David. Okay, so they persecute now. If you pray, if you study intense prayer, intense study worship, I mean, really going after the Spirit like Joseph, uh, Jacob did, expect uh, God's going to be speaking to you, and you're going to see things spiritually. And, uh, of course, He wants you to do something about it, too, and then the opposition comes. <laughs> They'll start attacking, but uh, keep in mind it's from... Uh, the, the spiritual realm that hates God, the demonic realm. And people many times are uh, influenced by that. Especially if you're in a carnal setting of a church and there almost no prayer and they're just form and fashion. Um, as long as they got their show rolling, they're cool with it. And if you start to become spiritual, well, you're going to you're going to, what do they say about the apple carts? You're going to disrupt their apple carts, and they're not going to like it, okay? But you still need to listen to the Holy Ghost and not them. You might have to have a Jeremiah ministry where you have to stand your ground against the king and the false prophets like Jeremiah did, okay? Don't be dismayed. It says, I think, by their faces. Jeremiah. Read it. Jeremiah 1, I think. Called you to be a prophet. So, uh, yeah, they'll, the carnal ministry will, they're more show. As long as it looks okay. If it, as long as it looks good. You know, they're cool. If they get your money. Yeah. And then you start feeling their control. And you'll feel asphyxiated, is suffocated. Well, those are spirits in that building. They probably live there. They probably got giant nests up atop. And carnal ministry will miss it. I read a book, this guy, uh, Haney, I think it was, something like that. And uh, he got to see in the realm of the spirit sometimes. I used to pray about that. Then I'm like, I retract that prayers. I don't want to see that. I don't, you know, I gotta deal with enough crap spiritually. I don't want to see it too. But, uh, yeah, I've, I definitely got to, I, I feel things I can pinpoint, especially if I'm praying worship, praying worship areas. It, it comes out. But, uh, it's just the Holy Ghost gifts. Everybody has them if they obey the Acts 238 pattern, which most churches don't. That's why the carnal, because it looks good, it sounds good. Doesn't mean it is good. Okay? So, if if they were on track, there's one mind of Christ. There's not two. God's not schizophrenic. He's not a trinity. There's not three. There's three offices of the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but he's not three people. It's just one God. Spirit became flesh, man. Okay? Jesus Christ, fullness of the Godhead bodily. Acts, or Colossians 2.9. There's one God. Shema. Old Testament Shema. Deuteronomy 6 4. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how I got on that. But, uh, yeah, watch for signs of carnal leadership. You can't go along with it because your soul is going to be connected to it if you do. And um, just try to help your brothers correct them. If they don't listen, hey, it's not your ball game. It's God's ball game. But uh, obey the Holy Ghost. Okay? Obey the Holy Ghost. Lesson 101, okay? Prayer and fasting. Uh, you don't have to fast all the time, as much as you can, but I don't barely fast at all anymore, but I need to. But uh, prayer, study. and I need, I'm not discounting fasting. I'm just saying, it's freaking tough, man. Hey, But uh, prayer, worship, study. And you'll, you'll start hearing from the Holy Ghost, okay? God bless.